While solving questions, we come across two terms, outstanding expenses and accrued expenses. And very often you would have wondered what is the difference between these two. So in this video, we would learn what is the difference between these two. But before we understand the difference in these two, let's understand what do we mean by the term accrued expenses. If you are new here, then we've already explained the meaning of the term outstanding expenses in the previous video. The link of that would be provided in the description box below. expense is an expense that needs to be accounted for but for which no invoice has been raised and no payment has been made. Now let's take few examples and understand this. This is John and John has just joined my business. He will be paid a salary of 30,000 and there would be no holidays provided to him. Salary is an expense which is invoiced on a monthly basis but it is incurred by the business on daily basis. So when John works for the business on day one, at the end of day one, he has earned a salary of 1000. We are not supposed to pay it to him today. We are supposed to pay him at the completion of these 30 days because that's the agreement that has been done, that the salary would be paid at the end of 30 days. So, though he has earned the salary of 1000, but he would not be paid. Still, the business has incurred an expense of 1000 at the end of day one. Now, at day two, when he works and he finishes day two, the expense incurred by the business by way of salary is going to become 2000. So at the end of day three, when he works for the business, the expense becomes 3000. Though the expense is being incurred on a daily basis, but still the business does not need to pay it on a daily basis. It would be paid at the end of 30 days. So an expense that has been incurred but not yet due would be termed as a crude expense. So John's salary till day 29 is going to be an accrued expense. The moment he works for day 30, an invoice is going to be raised and then the expense is going to be due. So till day 29 or till the time the invoice is not being raised for his salary, till that time the expense is not due. Therefore, there is no need for the business to pay this expense and such expenses are termed as accrued expenses. Now let's expand this example. Suppose John leaves on day 15. So though the expense is not due, is it that the business is not going to pay it? The answer is anyways, the business will have to pay this expense because it is just that the invoice was not being raised, but the expense was being incurred. So here, in such a case also, it is the liability of the business to pay this expense. So in this case, even though the invoice is not being raised, still the business is liable to pay this expense. Therefore, accrued expenses are also recorded in the books of accounts. So when he works for 30 days, the invoice is raised at the end of 30 days and suppose the salary is not paid till the 10th of next month. For these 10 days when the salary was due, the invoice was raised and it was not paid. For those 10 days, it is going to be termed as an outstanding expense. So an expense is termed to be accrued when the business is liable to pay for it. So from one till 29 or till the time the invoice is not being raised, the business is liable to pay this expense. Therefore, it would be termed as an accrued expense. The moment an invoice is being raised and after that date, if 
it is not being paid. So in this case, we said that it is not paid till the 10th of the next month. So for those 10 days, still the business is liable to pay these expenses. But now this expense has become an outstanding expense. So a business is supposed to pay an accrued expense. The business is supposed to pay an outstanding expense. It is just that accrued expense is an expense for which invoice has not been raised and the due date for payment has not come. An outstanding expense is an expense which the business has to pay and for which the invoice has been raised. I hope you have understood this. More examples of accrued expense are going to be electricity bill. Now think about the electricity bill of your house. First, you consume electricity. That means consumption is happening on a daily basis and the expense is also being incurred on a daily basis. But the payment happens at the end of a period, say 30 days. So the electricity consumption that happens till the date the bill is not being generated will remain an accrued expense. The moment an invoice is generated and if it is not paid on that day and there is a lag in payment from the date of invoice till the date of payment for that duration it is going to be termed as an outstanding expense. I hope you have understood the difference between these two terms. Now let's understand the accounting treatment of these two. To learn the accounting treatment of these two click on the next video.